New UN figures this morning show the civil war in Yemen is causing a huge increase in civilian deaths and injuries. Saudi-led airstrikes are targeting rebels backed by Iran who ousted the country's president earlier this year. Clarissa Ward is in Yemen's capital, Sana'a. She is one of the few Western reporters to go there since this air campaign began. Clarissa, good morning. Good morning. Aid workers are calling the humanitarian situation here in Yemen catastrophic, and it is civilians who are bearing the brunt. Many people are living in houses that have been completely destroyed, like this one, and desperately needed water and food and medicines are not able to get into the country. After three months of a bombing campaign led by Saudi Arabia, Yemen is in the grips of a humanitarian crisis. At the Thawra Hospital, the rooms are filled with injured people. But ICU doctor Ali Al Mufti explained that they simply don't have the supplies they need to properly treat them all. No water, no electricity, no medicines, no dialysis, and no doctors even. How much longer can you keep operating like this? No, 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 it's uh, alarming. We, uh, we can stop at any moment. Yemen is the poorest country in the Arab world, and an estimated 80 percent of people here are in need of aid. But a Saudi blockade by air and by sea means that very little is getting here. And the continued bombardment has made it difficult for aid workers and supplies to move around, as we discovered when we visited a maternity hospital. This is the sound of everyday life here in Sana'a. We can hear outgoing anti-aircraft jets overhead. They're supposedly bombing over in those mountains over there. Throughout the capital, gas lines stretch over a mile long, three lanes deep. There is a desperate shortage of water, trash clogs the streets, and electricity is only available for a few hours a week. And for now, there is no end in sight. Peace talks are supposed to get underway in Geneva today, but few people on either side have much confidence that they will yield any fruit. But the hope is to get some kind of a temporary ceasefire in place before the Muslim holy month of Ramadan begins in just two days. Charlie? Clarissa Ward in Yemen. Thanks.